Okay, so this is um, a logo I'm designing for ProRAV Drip Hydration. It's a company that is into all this hydration and it likes, you know, anything hydration is is water related. So the idea behind this logo is uh, the brand name initial P and then R. Then this R, the sketch is not accurate. So it's supposed to be a drip. Okay, it's like a water drop, something like this. yeah something like this so that's what i'm trying to achieve now so now let's let me go into using grid to create this so the first thing is i reduce the opacity of this using my transparency tool i reduce it to like 50 yeah then i start off with my line tool firstly i'll make this one a straight line and since this side of the logo is fat and this place is thin, so that means I can't make this a straight line. If I make it a straight line, it will have equal width. So I can just create another line and um, I rotate it some way like this. Yes. So it gives me a tiny edge while this place is wide. So I will duplicate this. I will group these two together, then duplicate. And duplicating now, we'll bring it downwards and mirror. Yeah. So just to create this side also, okay? Let me just use it to join each other here. Okay, so I'm creating this two now. I'll create um, another line to form this part. But this part is now, now I don't want this part to be straight also, so I can make it a bit slant, something like this. And I can make this straight, okay? So I haven't done that. Here is a circle. I'll use a circle to cre create this, a circle to create this, a circle to create this. So using the first circle to create this part. Yeah, so I'll drag it in. Just make sure your circle is touching this line here and it is touching the baseline so that once you when you want to cut off the part you don't need, it, it will work. So I'll use another circle to form this part make sure it is touching the lines so you might have to zoom in properly to see what you're doing okay so to test if that works you can use your shape builder to try and cut off this and this and see if it works okay yeah it works so let me undo your shape builder or your virtual segment delete tool which you can find yeah, normally it's on default, it will be on crop. So from crop, you'll find your virtual segment delete tool. Yeah, that's what you're using, cutting off lines. So now I need a circle to form this also. Let me just duplicate this. Okay. Okay, it is touching each other now. Then here, yeah, so let's say, using my shape, yeah, it works. Then we have another curve here, another curve here. So I'll still be needing a circle to do that. Don't forget, you need a perfect circle. I need a bigger circle, yeah. Give me that curve so make it touch this okay let's see this is my segment delete too let's see if it will allow me to have that curve that i need yeah it gives me that curve so let me undo okay that settles that i need another circle here let me duplicate this Yes, then just to join this. Then I need here to be covered, you know. So I use a straight line to do that. Yes, so that's it. That solves this P. Now, the other extension that makes it R and it is also the drip. 
I'll be using a circle to create it. So it should align with the base of this line. Okay, something like this. And um, I'll need another bigger circle to form the drip. Okay. Let it touch this. I have to make it bigger to touch this. Then another one, something like this. Let it touch here. So you see, it gives me this curve that can serve as the alphabet R. So I'm done with the grid. All I just have to do is to select all the grid lines. Then you copy Ctrl C on your keyboard. Then you can now start. The reason why I'm copying is because I want to place the grid exactly on the logo again when I'm done. Okay, there's one side missing. There's supposed to be a circle here to form this curve. So create another circle to touch here. All right? Yeah, that's it. So most times your grid line is not will not align with your with your sketch. Well, that's that's fine. That's okay. The point is just getting your your logo done professionally, regardless of what you have on your on your sketch. So now I will copy, I will select my grids and copy again, Ctrl C. Now you can start using my segment delete tool or your shape builder on Illustrator to clear off the excesses I do not need. Okay. Okay, so here is for the drip for the water droplets yeah you can see it gives me that that water splash yeah so basically i'm done with it now for me to fill in this i need to use the last tool here is your interactive tool interactive tool so you click on the small node beside it to bring your smart field drop down then you use the smart field you can on default it will be on use default. So remove the use default and put it on no outline. Then you can select whichever color you want here. I'll just leave it at the default color. Then you just click on the part you want to fill. It fills it, it fills it. So that is it. So once you're done with that, you can now select the two together, okay? Then you group, Control G, your keyboard, you group. Then after grouping it, you can now, you know, you copied your grid lines earlier. You can just control V on your keyboard. Then it pastes it exactly on your, on your logo. You can now group your grid lines together. Then move this out of this. You don't need this anymore. You don't need the sketch anymore also. And if you want to keep it, you're free to keep it. So basically that's it. So I have my logo now. Let me duplicate a copy of it. So this is my logo now. I have the alphabet P and I have the R and I have the water grid. So now I want to apply color. There's a color I want to use here, which is from here. You know, it's a water related brand. So hydration brand actually. So I'll just be picking two colors from here. Picking the blue from here, then a lighter one from here. So that's it. This part will be the lighter one considering the fact that it's the water, then also this for the darker blue. So that gives me my logo. And and the name is, um, the name of the brand is Pro Ravi. So Pro Ravi. Duplicate this, drip hydration. So the Pro RV will carry this big font. So let me determine. Um, okay. 
this will determine the the width of the pro ravi so yeah i can get rid of this now and the drip hydration be a smaller fonts then i can increase the kerning now i don't want to use this color so i'll be using this for the brand name and that's that's about pro ravi drip hydration so you can do other exploration of maybe the icon only somewhere here yeah you can do another one probably make it this color and make this white and another one this color okay this color make this white so that's the exploration of the logo for pro ravi thank you for watching should you have any question as regards um how i use the grid to form the logo feel free to send me to comments in the comment section and also um, i also like to um tweak my logo a little bit by making this place instead of having a sharp edge i can decide to make it a little curve then by using the corners to so get your corners you go to your windows then you go to your dockers then you see corners they to show you this i'm using the um the measuring rule i'm using is um the unit i'm using is millimeter so millimeter is actually the best to work with for corners so i'm using 5 mm yeah so it gives it a little curve i want to do the same thing here yeah so yeah then I want to do the same thing for the brand name. I use 5mm also. You see, it works. And yeah, that's what I'll be settling with. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next tutorial.